Hey guys, so I am at the Egyptian theater right now. Do you need lighting? And no, it's not. <laughs> don't because I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to be taking video. Yeah, yeah but totally. Like, I'm at the Egyptian theater right now, and we got our seats. And I saw my friend Nicole, and yeah, apparently they're giving away zilch buttons, and I t I'm trying to find the people who are. It's so dark in here that I don't know where. Okay, so there's a guy and he walks like this and I swear to God. I don't know, like it's probably not him, but still like I'm... He looks just like him. I have no idea guys, but help. Guys, Mickey's right there, I swear to God. Oh my God, he's right there. His fedora. Oh my god. Yeah, why is he oh, Because he's trying to hide his bald spot. <laughs> Guys, that just saw Mickey Dolls. I'm gonna freaking go. I swear to God. I'm the MVP who came here to see. <laughs> and to bring him down, I want to introduce our moderator for this evening's discussion to Eliana Douglas. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little help, a little background maybe, as I'm gonna introduce Mickey if we could have a little under. You know the words. Here we come. <laughs> Street little humming. And the funny. Keep it up. Mickey Dolenz is the voice of their first hit. Last trade to Clarksville was issued almost 50 years ago today. They went on to six platinum albums, a string of number one hits, and their latest album. with your original audition. Okay, hey guys, so, um, the first two episodes ended, and then Mickey did his Q&A, and then that guy who looked like Ned, I don't think it is Ned, because um, I, I went to go outside, and then he went outside, and he was too short to be Ned. I don't think it was, but Ned is playing at Pantages when I go. Which I'm really excited because, dude, I'm going to see if he's going to do live, but I just I can't. So, and then the next two episodes um, are going to show right now in a couple minutes. And yeah, Mickey was sitting there earlier, and I think I had like a couple of videos of that, but he had to co catch his plane or whatever. So, yeah. That's right, baby. Fish Hey guys, it's me, Angeline, your Saturday's child, and I just got back from the monkey screening in Hollywood at the Egyptian Theater, and I'm really tired, so I'm sorry if this is going to like sound boring and stuff, but I kind of wanted to film this right after like when I came back home. The screening was really fun. I happened to sit in the same row as Mickey, and oh. It was just so great because first I was sitting in um, where I was sitting and then I see right ahead Mickey and I was like, oh crap, like that's Mickey Dolan's like, he was wearing his fedora and uh, who else wears a fedora so he's just so happy to sit in the same row as us and he was sitting just a couple seats away from me. It was so great, and I just kept looking back at him. But yeah, Mickey did his q and I was very tempted to ask a question. I wrote, like, I rose my hand for one of the 
um, times where they were like, does anyone have questions? But they didn't choose me. And I was like, I don't ask. I was too scared. And also, um, one of the guys who uh, worked with the monkeys in the cinematography for the show, his name was um, Gene Warren Jr. And here we have Liz, he's our makeup man. And Gene, he plays football. He came up to me and my sister and just started making conversation with us. And yeah, it was he was really sweet. And he was talking about how he used to be really good friends with um, the group and that Davey was the sweetest. And Mickey was like the second soonest, and it would be Mike, and then Peter was the most distant one, which was really interesting to say. So, and a lot of people were com complimenting me on my Nez hat, which Andrea, who kind of started this whole wool hat thing for us, <laughs> made me. And I also got a Zilch pen because the people from Zilch um, were there. And they're giving out free pins, and I got a couple because I kept, um, they kept asking, like, do you want more? I'm like, sure. So I took them. They showed four episodes, being the Monkeys vs. the Machine one, the Monkeys Get Out of the Dirt or something. It was a laundromat one. I can't remember the episode. I'm so tired. The Peter Tork, the Devil one, and the one that Mickey um, produced and directed. They showed those four, and in between the showings of the episodes, um, they had like the music videos, um, and everything was remastered and redone and high, high definition Blu-ray. It was so pure. It was really great because uh, watching the monkeys on a big screen and seeing it all remastered and everything, it was just really fun. And. I'd like to shout out Chris Carter for for my tickets for as I won them on the um, on Breakfast with the Beatles and yeah so I also um, got whatever this is it was um they're like monkey cardboard records which I really want to try out and apparently like they used to get these in cereal boxes and this is the record and it's cardboard and it's supposed to work on the record player which I shall try out right now. Last train to Clarksville. So I guess you put the record down. I am so scared. Okay. I don't know where to put it. I'm scared. Okay. Oh my god, that's so cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and this night was really fun, and I will never forget it because, man, I saw Mickey Dolan's. I, I still can't get over it. Um, oh, okay, for those who are coming to the Hollywood show for um, See the Monkeys next month on September 16, Mickey said Nez will be there. So, I mean, I'm just giving you a heads up. And, um, people were like, it's rumored, but Mickey said, like, he plain out said, like, Nez is gonna be there. And I really hope Nez is gonna be there. So, yeah. And I'll see you next week. For, I'll be more awake and not so tired. So, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye.